All right, hello internet. Uh, it's time for a camper update. Uh, a lot of progress has been made. I've been very lazy and not posting video updates because I'm embarrassed by the state of my garage. Uh, I've got like four projects going on right now, and so it's just a big mess in here. Uh, we got a new refrigerator I'm cleaning up, getting back to working, so that be, should be done in a couple of days. Uh, but the camper's the main thing here, so I just wanted to do an update. Um, I don't remember where the last update was, but I think since then I've gotten the first wall all but the top cut coat done. Uh, that's what it looks like before I put paint it. So this is glued on canvas right there. This is glued and painted. This is the first wall I did, and it's really not great. Uh, I did not do a great job on it. Uh, I didn't know what I was doing, really. You can't see in the video, but there were several bubbles. There, you can kind of see. And what I had to do is go back and put more glue underneath some of these bubbles. Uh, but then the second side, I did a lot better. It's very smooth. I think there's maybe one bubble or two bubbles. Uh, so both the fronts are done. It's also been very cold, so you can't glue uh, or use the spray foam or, I think, paint if it's below 50. And it's like 38 outside right now. Uh, so what I've actually been doing is I have a little Bitcoin miner over there. That's, that one S9 has been able to heat this garage to uh, 71 degrees pretty much the whole time. Uh, I just opened my garage, so I'm losing all my heat. So I won't be able to do anything today, but that's fine. Uh, it's been pretty awesome. It's worked really well. So it's like free heat, essentially. Uh, so this is the left side. This is the first side I've done. It's all painted. Uh, I've got my shore power. We'll go there. I've got an external plug for uh, 120 volt right there. Uh, that, that'll be a window that is painted right there. Uh, and then the door is right there. It will get a window also. Uh, and the latch, it's already been test fitted. Everything's working great. Uh, just need to put the final top coat on once I finish everything. I'll top coat everything at once uh, and then reassemble. But I do dry fit everything uh, just to make sure everything's fitting. Uh, but this side came out really great. I was very pleased with it. It's got a, a few few things, you know. It's not perfect. It is homemade, but... I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. The door was a big struggle on just solving that problem, but got it. Also got the bed kind of fit in right now. It's just dry fit. Um, yeah, I got stains on it. No, we won't talk about this. That's what happens when you let kids play on your bed. So, but here's the, uh, here's kind of how I did the bed. I can do a more detailed video on that if there's interest. If, I don't know. I don't know. Nobody comments or <laughs> does anything with my videos. So there, I don't know if there's interest or not. Uh, that's the front. That that center area actually lifts up. The AC unit, you can kind of see, is underneath it. Uh, that AC unit obviously won't do much once the bed's down. Unfortunately, I did not think that through all the way. I, I If I were doing it again, I would do the AC completely different. I would just use that for storage. And I'd probably put the AC unit in the back, uh, elevated. But it's too late. We've gone too far. So uh, it is what it is. Uh, this thing should stay pretty cool once I've got it cooled down. So maybe what I'll do is I'll... I'll cool it down and then uh, put the bed down and we'll go to sleep. But we'll see. Uh, it would still do some. There's There'd be airflow over here, but it would basically just cool this compartment uh, underneath the bed when the, the bed is down. Uh, these beds, the bed slides together like that. Underneath it, you can see uh, there's the batteries. I think I had the batteries done last time. There's a, the inverter is right over there, and that's the 120 volt. Uh, distribution panel right there uh, that is not permanent that wiring right there that was just testing and so it will I feel like all my wiring is pretty well done uh, once it's permanent but that is not permanent so it does not look very good um, you can see the stuff going underneath runs through PVC should be pretty protected it's also jacketed um, wires so and insulated so those should be good Let's come around the back. Uh, I'm working on the panel, trying to get the panel done next. The, I mean, the back galley hatch. This is kind of, I was just kind of laying it out what it would look like. There's going to be an opening right here. Uh, that's where our table will slide in uh, that folds. You can see the inverter. Uh, these are, this isn't even attached yet. This is just cutting and fitting things. Uh, you can kind of, that wiring's a mess. Don't judge me by that wiring. That's also temporary. Uh, the permanent stuff. It's like right there. Yes, there's a lot of sawdust in here because I've been cutting wood with the wood, the garage door closed. Uh, that's also a mess. We'll get cleaned up. I promise. Uh, I'll have extra storage over there. Some extra storage over there. You can kind of see the bed. 
Uh, I've got that board that is permanent. The bed will not be permanently attached. Um, well, these will these slides will be attached to the bottom of the top slats, but this board is permanent. Uh, these this the bed support the main bed support. This piece uh, is not. I want to be able to lift that up um, and get underneath it. So that is not going to be permanent or permanently attached. This side has been glued. This canvas just got this done. Feels really good to get these walls glued in. So now they're a lot more sturdy. They're not super flimsy like they were probably the last time. Like, I mean, this is, that's pretty solid. Uh, this needs to be sanded. I'll sand this down. Right here, I'll sand, sand this seam down and then I go back over it uh, and, and just fill it in. I'll do one layer of, uh, I take great stuff, the expanding foam and I just kind of mix it after I've sprayed it and to where it's, it's not all foamy. And then I can fill these gaps and it foams up a little bit and I sand down and it's pretty dense. And then I'll cover that with glue again, uh, just to make it hard and sand it down. And then I, uh, cover it with, oh, uh, what is that stuff called? Shoot. I can't remember it now. Um, <laughs> let's see. It's right over here. Water putty. Uh, it worked really well though on this other side uh, and it was super cheap so uh, it it really you can't you can barely see the seam where that seam was so that worked really well uh, i have wood blocks to hold where the hinges go there's wood blocks that i then glued into the foam using great stuff uh you can see here where the latch closes too uh, this needs to be repainted you won't see any of that it'll be cleaned up i'll paint all that and i've got the Metal cover that goes over that, which is right in here somewhere, uh, right here. So, uh, it's already been test fit, everything's fit great. Got a little threshold right here. Uh, there's the door, got that covered. This has been painted, this only needs top coat. The top needs to be painted. Uh, this, this takes, I do like eight coats probably, six to eight coats. Uh, just kind of keep going until it's, it still has some texture. Um, you can't really see it in the camera, but there's still some texture to it, but it looks pretty good. Like I'm, I'm actually, I was expecting to see a lot of the uh, canvas showing through and you, I mean, you can kind of see it, but it actually came out really great. I, I, I better than I expected. Uh, and I had maybe very low expectations. So maybe that's why, but, uh, here's the, the bed when it folds back is nice open area. I've just purchased the canvas for the pillows up uh, or the bench up front. Uh, I should have that later this week and maybe get that sewed in the next week. Uh, the front, that, that needs to be glued in. Uh, I'm going to paint the top. I don't think I'm going to canvas that area. I'm just going to paint it, keep it smooth, and then we're going to put a like United States decal up there, and then each state we go to, we'll put a sticker over it. I think that would be kind of fun. Uh, the, ki the kids are going to get to paint pretty much all the inside. There's going to be a, see where that line is right there? There's going to be a shelf that comes across to the back. And the galley's right, ends right here. Basically where the bed comes, there'll be a wall here. Uh, the cooler is going to do something like this. Um, that hasn't been totally figured out yet. I just damaged the foam. That's great. That's going to be my countertop that I cut. Uh, Got to learn how to do epoxy on it. I think I'm going to stain it like a black stain with uh, gold sparkles and then uh, um, epoxy resin over the top of it. So that it should be pretty durable. Uh, it, it's not. I know it's not great to put epoxy out in the sun, but this is this galley hatch is going to come up and provide shade for this area uh, pretty much all the time. So I don't. I don't think it's going to get hardly any, if any, direct sunlight. Um, the idea would be to avoid that because uh, it'll be in here at right this level right here that's about it it's got uh like what 15 kilowatts of battery power uh it's a pretty massive battery uh it has ran basically every battery charged and power tool even my vacuum uh, pretty much anything that gets plugged in in this garage now gets plugged in through these batteries and charged uh, we have free power from uh, 8 p.m to 6 a.m so i usually recharge this battery um during that time and so i mean we're basically building it on free electricity at this point uh, as you can see everything's plugged in right over there i've got this nifty little 
plug it got this this plug goes in through there and uh, then plugs into the same power outlet that the uh, H HVC or the AC unit plugs into I'm gonna have an external power outlet right there that is on a totally separate uh, breaker it's got a 20 amp breaker the AC unit has a 20 amp breaker this has a 15 amp breaker this plug these this is a two i have two external plugs that are on a 15 amp breaker oh i take that back i ended up putting that front plug on the same breaker as this so that i would have a totally separate breaker for the galley power uh, i think i'm gonna have two i'll have a plug here ish and a plug here ish uh, for two plugs on a 15 amp breaker in the back uh, everything should be stay under 100 amps this system is set up for 200 amps so we should be well under any kind of uh risks or power limitations uh, all my wires are uh, gauged for 200 amps also so we really should be totally safe uh, the only thing i'm not 100 percent sure about is grounding um, i have grounded everything to the frame well it, it's all set up to be grounded to the frame i actually haven't drilled the hole and put the screw in and grounded everything to the frame yet but uh, when it's plugged into shore it's grounded uh, and it typically is plugged into shore so that's that this will end up with uh 12 volt power it's a 48 volt system but i just have a 12 volt uh inverter or converter uh that will run this and all of our 12 volt stuff this is where i'm thinking about putting a sink that will drain into it i'm not sure we're gonna have water sorry about that angle um we probably won't but i don't know we 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 definitely won't at first uh we might eventually you can kind of see how i did the windows right there uh, I got very lazy on this side. I did that side really nice. Uh, I don't know why I got so lazy on this side. I, I think I was just rushing. It was cold and I was trying to get it done. I don't remember, uh, but shame on past me. Do better. Uh, the roof is pretty much done up there. I mean, everything's going to get painted and probably another layer because I'm going to have some lights. Uh, all the interior wiring will happen at a later date. Uh, I'm trying to get the exterior done in the next month because uh, we have a camping trip coming up the second weekend of December and I'd really like to take this out for a test drive it's very close campsite uh, like not even 20 minutes away no highway driving so I should be able to tow this and just kind of get a good feel for it camp out for two nights make sure it, it holds up pretty well outdoors uh, if I can get the whole outside glued up the galley hatch figured out still working on that <laughs> but we'll I'll figure it out uh uh, and then, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I feel like I'm pretty close. It's, it's pretty exciting. Uh, if anybody has questions, please ask. Uh, I don't think I get any interaction on these videos. I don't know if anybody's even watching them, but I would love to talk to people about it. It's, it's really fun to talk about, but, uh, this still needs a lot of work. This obviously needs a lot of work. Um, but once I get those two things done, it's going to be, things are going to happen really quickly, I think. Uh, so yeah, please, uh, you know, like my video if if you guys want me to post if anybody's watching this and wants me to post more frequently i gotta always ask i mean this is not a very long video i don't mind standing out here and talking about it i can even make some videos of me working on it uh, i have to do the door still the second door that door's done that door's done except for its top coat uh which i'll do i'm gonna do all the top coat at the same time so that way it all matches the same color because uh, I actually did a top coat on that and it yellowed a little bit. Uh, that It's that 2X clear coat. I will not use that again. Uh, it, it definitely yellows. It's very slight, but when you see it next to the white, it's it's clearly yellowed. Like if I showed it to you right now by itself, you can't really tell. I mean, it doesn't look like it's yellowed at all. But when it's next to the pure white, uh, there's definitely a difference in color. So that's why I'm going to do all of it. I'm going to do a marine top coat, white. Uh, as the final top coat layer and then I'll probably do there's this stuff called 2k um, that is much more expensive than this but it it dries crystal clear from from what I've seen at least on other YouTube videos so uh, hopefully that is accurate uh, there's the other door right at the top right there um, that's where I was storing my foam look at that there's one piece left that is so I, I mean I know that means nothing to you but man seeing only one piece of foam left is so exciting for me because <laughs> it's like I'm so close to being done this project has gone on good thing I didn't just break that window I kicked over uh, this window still needs to be painted that's why it's out I wasn't sure about that blue but I really like it now so I'm gonna go ahead and paint the other two windows um I do have to 
cut one of these so it drains properly since I'm doing them vertical. But uh, yeah, this is the table that will fit in that spot. It's already been measured and test fit right there. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty excited. It's getting close. The finish line is visible. Uh, so yeah, there, there, there's a lot of work left on the inside, but that's how I'm sealing. You see, I put more of the uh, veneer or whatever that stuff is called around the inside of the door. It gives me just a lip over the door that I can put some uh, sealant strip, sealing sealant strip on the inside, and then the door will push up against that and compression seal it. Uh, I'm gonna do similar on the back. I actually think I'm gonna make the whole back uh, open, like the entire thing. Um, I'll have that. This will probably be the only thing. Well, I guess I did put a little bit of wood on the doors, but I will I will frame out this entire piece with uh, wood, uh, just to make sure that uh, it it stays kind of straight. The, sometimes after the canvas, the foam wants to warp slightly, so I'm gonna frame. I'll frame the uh, the hatch lid, and I'll also frame the opening. Uh, so I can get a good solid close. I've got good wood to mount the um, lifting arms, the um, shocks, and then the latches uh, and the hinge. I'm just going to do a piano hinge along the whole top. I looked at hurricane hinges, but uh, it seems like those would leak. Uh, but I don't know, people have good luck with them, but people have good luck with the piano hinge as well. So I'm going to go with the piano hinge. It was way cheaper. Uh, I'll just put a little strip of rubber over it. Uh, so it doesn't leak, and I should be good. I'll just glue that down. And, uh, yeah, like I said, if, if there's any questions, uh, I've just been doing a lot of different projects lately, building batteries for people now. Super fun. I like building batteries. If you have questions about batteries, you want me to do a video about building a battery, I can do that. Um, I might try and record working on the door next. Like, actually do, like, a little time lapse of me doing the door. The door's been a... The door took me a really long time to figure out. <laughs> See, this is the other door. I have not even cut cut it. So I'll need to cut that. I'm going to cut the window out. And then I will glue the canvas. The canvas gets glued all the way up and around. Uh, it does not completely cover the side. It will just go around the edges till you know, a couple inches. Actually, I'll probably go all the way past here. Uh, all the way around. And then I glue, glue I think it's Luan, Luan, something, whatever this stuff's called. I glue some of that on the back side of the door, like this one. Uh, just to give me the proper thickness for the window frame uh, and to make it stronger that 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 adds quite a bit of strength to it so um yeah the door worked great uh it fit it fit perfect uh the latches i'm using are right over there uh they're rv latches they're locking up latches uh, i have not figured out what kind of latch i'm going to do back here i'm thinking maybe just a gate latch that has the key that then like turns and locks it some sort of compression to to hold it tight to the and create a good water seal uh, for the back. I'm not super worried about it. Um, I mean, obviously, water penetration is probably my biggest concern about this whole project, but I feel like I've got it down pretty good. I don't have any openings on the roof yet. Once I get solar panels for the roof, uh, I will end up with uh, a hole somewhere to 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 run the wires for the solar panels to dc charge the battery uh but that's gonna that's like a month or two away still as well so there you go uh that's about a 20 minute video that's it's like twice as long as i originally planned uh i, I guess i could try and do these more often uh and they'll be shorter but yeah there you go homemade rv made entirely of foam uh i think i'm one of the only ones that's <laughs> using one inch foam which is i don't know probably should have done two inch all the way around but once the once the canvas is on uh and, and i think especially once i put in the um shelving unit up here that's going to add a little more strength to that side um because that will join in with the roof and the uh wall so that will that will sturdy that up a little bit and when i put the window in that actually adds quite a bit of uh rigidity to the wall as well um so that helps the door frame area is is nice and rigid now so my 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 main concern with that would be like while i'm driving down the road if it's just vibrating it we could you know maybe hit hit that right frequency and the whole thing would just vibrate itself apart uh, so that's, that's that is my biggest fear actually um but I, i'm feeling pretty good about it i'm gonna do a lot of test drives with it on roads with nobody on them uh, we'll go camping a couple of times. We've got a place that's, like I said, about 20 minutes away. We've got another place that's like 
I mean, honestly, the, the place isn't even 20 minutes, probably more like 10 minutes away. It's like super close. Uh, and then we've got a state park that's like 15, 20 minutes away. We'll probably go to, then we've got a place, um, about an hour away. We really like to go called llama land. Shout out to llama land. Um, we love them over there. Kids absolutely love that place. Uh, we'll probably test that. And then we've got our go-to place that's about four hours away um, in the Wachita National Forest. Wachita National Forest? Something like that. Um, on the Arkansas-Oklahoma border. Uh, we really like to go over the, up there uh, a couple times a year as well. So that would be the like final big trip uh, to test it out. And if it does that, then I'd feel comfortable taking this thing anywhere. So we'll just kind of do a little bit at a time. Take it easy. Don't push it too much. Um, if I had this to do over again, I would not, uh, especially considering the price of campers has come way down from when I started this, like more than 50%. So, uh, yeah, the only reason I did this to begin with is because I didn't want to pay $10,000 for a used camper. And that was about all I could find at the time. Now you can find a used camper for $2,500 to $3,000. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think I spent a hundred dollars on the frame. I've probably spent two or three hundred dollars on foam. Each panel was nineteen dollars, so I don't know, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, hundred, twenty. I think the the two inch it was like twenty or thirty dollars. I think at the time. Now everything's like gone up. The one inches are now thirty dollars, uh, and these I think are forty dollars. I don't know. I haven't bought foam in two years now, so <laughs> fortunately. Um, I want to say I'm probably about $800 in total, not including battery system. The battery system was $2,500, I think, about. Um, so, yeah, I guess um, not including batteries, I'm about... Man, $800 sounds high, actually. I, I don't know. I, I, I haven't been keeping track. Uh, I should, though, because I'm very curious how much I've spent. Under $1,000, though. I'm, I'm certain I'm under $1,000. Paint's kind of expensive. Uh, but I've been, I've been trying to buy oops paint, which is super helpful because it's, it's way cheaper. Uh, and, and whenever I got to buy wood, I try and buy the, uh, um, the damaged wood or whatever, uh, because it's like 70% off like this one. You can see, see the purple marking. Uh, that's why I, I liked this one. It's really pretty, I like the grain on it. So I'll sand that down and make it pretty again and then stain that and it'll be a nice countertop, I think. Hopefully, uh, if you, you, you want to tell me I'm doing stuff wrong, please do. Cause I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm making all of this up as I go watching other people make mistakes and figure it out as they go. Um, it's, it has been fun. The kids help a lot. Uh, I wish I could just stay focused on it and work on it nonstop and get it done, but it is what it is. Um, I think today's project, uh, is cleaning that refrigerator over there. So it probably won't get much done on it today. Uh, maybe I, you know what, I'm, I'm going to iron the canvas for the door because the door is pretty much ready to be canvassed. This needs to be glued. I need, I need to foam this on. Uh, I have a lot of foam spraying to do. I need to foam, uh, the, this piece and that piece in. I didn't have a long enough piece. So this ended up being two pieces, but it's going to be fine. It's already supported our weight. The whole family's already been on this we're good. Uh, I'm very happy with how the bed turned out. I just got to make sure the mechanism for opening it and closing it, uh, is smoother. Um, but that shouldn't be too difficult. It's just a matter of sanding and sanding and sanding. So I'll sand some more. And then, I, I'm going to, the little risers I, I just cut the other day out of fence posts need to be sanded significantly and glued in place. But I'm at a point where I need to do some foam spraying and, uh, it needs to be warm enough to do that. And since I opened the garage, it is definitely not warm enough in here at this point, so I will have to do that another day. Um, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's come a really long ways, so I'm very happy with it. Uh, I, I'm 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 very happy. Um, uh, I'm pretty proud of pulling this off. I, I I'm not sure I had that much confidence in my ability to do this at the beginning, but I have learned an enormous amount. So. Um, it's been fun. I love solving puzzles, and this has been the most difficult puzzle to solve I've probably ever taken on. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm still not sure exactly how the latch is going to close. Uh, I'm, I'm still not 100% sure I'm going to keep this edge right here. Uh, I might bring it in and then have a little bit smaller galley hatch. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I, 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 like I said, I'm making this up as I go. Uh, I make decisions on the fly sometimes. Uh, but so far, everything has mostly worked out. Um, 
sometimes my on-the-fly decisions aren't great. As you can see, that dent right there uh, is from the dolly when I was moving the refrigerator. So that was dumb. But, you know, life happens. Uh, that won't be visible because it'll be behind our counters. So, cool. Uh, all right. That's it. Bye.